Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your November 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings are love readings, so we will see what comes up. I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards for you first, just to get like an overall energy. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? That happens sometimes. Things may be falling apart. When something like that happens, you need to take it as a message. Oh, the garden and the gate. This tells me that there's something beyond your reach, okay? There's something beyond your reach. All you have to do is open the gate. All you have to do is go through. It's in it's in sight. It's in sight, but you're not to, you're not going through. For some reason, you're staying just outside. Instead of going through the gate and experiencing more beauty, you're staying on the outskirts. You know, granted, there's a lot of beauty where there where you're at. I mean, there is. There's a lot of beauty. But, you know, what's what's beyond that gate? There's there's a whole there's a whole another world, a whole another spot, a whole another place. It's like you're not, not even noticing it. It's like you're not noticing that you know, there's so much more out there. Okay? Sagittarius, there's so much more to be had. There's endless possibilities here. Oh, look at that. It's time for a transformation. You could call this the death card. Okay? It's time for a transformation. Major change is on the horizon. You might have to step outside of your comfort zone, though. You just might have to step outside of your comfort zone to get there. But this is beautiful. There's a transformation on the horizon that leads to a wonderful new beginning for you. It appears you're going to have to take some action, though, because there's something that you're just not noticing. Or you notice it, but you're pretending you don't notice it. It's like you don't want to see the truth, perhaps. Maybe you're just comfortable where you're at, so why why explore new territory? But there's new territory to explore, be explored, okay? There's beauty beyond the walls that you are confined to. You need to really follow your intuition at this time. It feels to me like your intuition is trying to tell you something. You also have to have compassion for yourself. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Let me just get a few more cards here. It feels like... Uh, you may be coming in. You may be coming in. You may be coming in from outside. Outside, you might be coming in from the cold, put it that way. It's like you may be finally uh, owning up to something. I think there's some dishonesty here. Or there's some kind of tricky, sneaky, sneakiness that is in your life. Somebody, it's, it's like somebody is trying to get away with something. And I'm not sure if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. But it feels like... Your intuition is telling you something about a situation. Somebody, Somebody's up to something and you know it. Put it that way. All right? You know it. And it's like you you know what is going on. There's some kind of... Uh, somebody's trying to be a trickster. Put it that way. 
somebody is trying to trick you in some way, whether it's you or somebody else. Somebody's trying to be sneaky and trick, tricky. You know, they're trying to trick you in some way. Um, yeah, you're dealing with a liar. I don't know who you're dealing with, but somebody that is watching this is dealing with a liar. Um, and you're looking for more, all right? It's like you are really discontent at this time and you're looking for more. Maybe you feel like you deserve more love. It's like you're not receiving the the love that you that you were hoping for. Somebody's been lying to you. Perhaps it was just lust, you know, lust and not love. And you put a, you put a lot of work into it, but it's not paying off. And now you may be feeling like you're the victim. Okay, um, but you're coming out of that mentality. I think you've come to the point where it's time to free yourself. All right, but. I don't, I'm not sure that you have freed yourself yet because as far as I can see, you, or you haven't been willing to look beyond your current situation to realize that there's so much more. Okay, that's what it looks like. It, it appears that right now you're still trapped in a situation that is toxic, okay? There's a toxic situation here that somebody is involved in. They may be being very much manipulated, whether you're doing the manipulating or the person that you're dealing with. There's manipulation here, okay? Uh, there could be some addictions as well, some obsessions, um, and it's time to be honest, okay? It is time to be honest. It's like... Whatever is going on isn't fair, and it is time for fairness to come about. And I think that you've been waiting for this this to happen. You've been waiting for your justice to come, and it just hasn't. But perhaps this month, you know, there's some kind of sneaky behavior that you know about that may just come to light, okay? It's like all of a sudden the secret might come out or um, there could be some justice that gets paid off very harshly, okay? I feel like, oh, let me zoom this in before I keep going, hold on. You're starting to realize the truth, put it that way. It's like you're starting to realize this, realize the truth of a situation. You know what the truth is. Somebody has been lying to you. Somebody has been trying to get away with something. They've been sneaky. They've been really, you know, like playing tricks on you. And you've been like just letting it happen. But now you're starting, your eyes are starting to open. You're starting to wake up. And it's like, I know what's going on here. I know what's going on here. And now you're feeling, yeah, somebody is feeling like they're looking for more. Somebody's looking for more. It's like there's a lost opportunity here, okay? There is. There's a, I've lost the opportunity. This, this didn't turn out the way I'd hoped. And now it's time to do the right thing, all right? It's time to do the right thing. And that will start the healing process. But you haven't, you... Justice is going to be served this month in some arena of your life. We're going to find out. You, you, I think you're freeing yourself from something. You are. I think that you are freeing yourself from a toxic situation. And whether you're freeing yourself from, your, from it or the law is. It's like the law is involved here. It's like somebody is coming in and they are going to change. It's going to change. Something's going to happen that's going to change your life. Okay. It's like, yeah, the sneaky bullshit. Somebody's getting caught. Somebody is going to get caught. And I think you are you could be catching them in the act or the law could be catching them in the act. There's some kind of, it's almost like a, a feeling of disgust, okay? Like something has, has happened that was deceitful and caused a lot of harm. And now this person is getting caught. They're getting caught in the act, Okay. It's going to be a victory for you. It really is. It's like you are going to be victorious in the end. All right. Thank God, right? You know, I'm not sure who this is, who this person is that you're dealing with. But whoever it is, they aren't very nice. They are probably very vindictive and very much thinking about themselves. Um, this person is probably doesn't have a lot of compassion for others. Uh, very much... 
um, manipulative. You're dealing with a manipulative person. You are, but it feels like you are going to be victorious in this situation because whoever it is that you're dealing with is going to get caught. They're, uh, whatever they've been doing is going to become known. And it's going to cause you to go in a new direction. I feel like you have new growth right in front of you. All you have to do is have compassion for yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other person. And don't look at this in a victim mentality. Don't go. Don't get overly emotional. This has all happened to, for a reason. When you get this Ace of Wands, you should consider it a gift. Okay? And it feels like this gift comes in... Um, through harsh means, okay? I think that something is going to happen that is... I, I'm surprised you haven't seen the tower, put it that way. I think that something is going to happen that is going to change everything for you. It's like destiny, okay? I think that something is going to happen that is meant to happen that changes your course, okay? Because I think that you have been on a, like, almost like a downward spiral. Somebody has been, like, manipulating you and taking advantage of you and not reciprocating in the emotional support arena. And it feel I feel disgusted by this person. I don't know who it is. My dog is crying. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be given some emotional support, um, some kind of gift from God, and they're big gifts. It's your turn. It's time. It's time for you guys to get what you deserve, and that is your justice. With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands in a reading right next to each other, these are huge gifts being handed to you from the universe, okay? It's a gift of new growth. You're being, you are being given these opportunities, an opportunity for love and an opportunity for growth, an opportunity for a new partnership of some sort. You could, if you're single, you could have a new love partner come into your life this month. No kidding. Somebody that, um, is very beautiful and has a lot of compassion, has a lot of, um, who is very calm, very tranquil, very kind, and has the best of intentions. I think that you could have somebody come into your life that is going to, it could be a new partner, okay? Somebody completely new that comes into your life and sweeps you off your feet. Really pay attention to your dreams at this time because I think that your dreams are trying to tell you something. Just keep that in mind. I think this is a really happy, happy month for you. I think that where this sneaky bullshit behavior that has been going on in the past, whoever this was, I think that's where your transformation begins. I think you're moving out of this behavior or, or this period of your life. Whoever you've been dealing with who was lying to you, I think that they get caught and you move away from it. Somehow you get out of that somehow and I don't know how yet but let's find out okay so your intuition knows there's secrets okay there's some kind of secret here and your intuition I believe it knows what it is you know what is going on and you know it's like this is this is destiny there's destiny here everything that has happened in your life is bringing you closer to where you are meant to be it's like this this was already written I think that you Whatever you have been through that has caused all this hurt and this destructiveness has is leading up to this ultimate gift because you are getting a gift this month. You are. There's, I believe it. With, this, with, with these two cards right next to each other, you are receiving some sort of gift this month and you deserve it. You deserve it. That high priestess tells me that this was this has already been written, okay? It's already been written. This means that everything that has happened, even if it hurt, it was it was a test, okay? It was a test. We have the devil right here. There was this was a test to bring you to this point of of your life where you could love with this extent. Do you know what I'm trying to say? <clears throat> All these lessons that have been learned 
have given you the knowledge to love to this extent, you are going to find the ultimate. I'm sorry, I had to take a drink. <coughs> the ultimate emotional support from somewhere. <coughs> I do apologize. Um, it's a beginning of love. I believe that there's new beginnings in love here for somebody. Whether you are having a reconciliation within your current relationship or a new one, you know, there is a beginning in love. And for many, many people watching this, I think it's new love. I do. And I think it's something you have seen coming for a while. And that the struggles that you have gone through were bringing you the knowledge that you needed to get that so that this love could come in you know everything happens for a reason that's what i'm trying to say um you've been through a period of loss and i think that you've been through some rejections and you have some regrets but i have to remind you that all of that stuff teaches you something like i said everything happens for a reason this five of cups is you know i see the sadness i see that you you know, like I said earlier, you remember when I said that you needed to go through the gate? There's so much There's so much beyond the gate, stuff that you don't even realize. The Five of Cups is reiterating that. There's something more for you. There is absolutely something more for you. and But all you have to do is take the forward steps. You have to realize it, that there is other choices. And stop concentrating on the loss Stop worrying about what has happened. You need to realize that there's still other options, okay? So whatever has happened, you need to let that go. And I feel like there's something that has happened or is going to happen in the very near future that is going to bring you the justice that you deserve, okay? There's karma here. There is. There was a karmic lesson that needed to be learned, and I feel like you guys have learned something really, really, really big. You have. And something, I think somebody's going to come into your life fairly, fairly quickly. And you are being called to have no fear. Have no fear. All right? Whoever is coming in, you know, I think that you may be scared because of what you have been through. It feels like you've been deceived. You've been deceived in the past. So you're going to be like, oh, no, I don't. This is too good to be true. But I think this person is coming in. To show you that there are other options. Okay? They're trying to bring you out of the cold. They're trying to make you feel loved again. They're com coming to offer you support. Somebody's coming into your life this month. That's what I see. And they're going to help you start the healing process. Or they're going to help you along the healing process. Okay? It's about time, huh? I see a new door opening. I'm telling you what, for many of you watching this, there's new love coming into your life if you're single. If you're single, there's absolutely a chance for new love to come into your life, for you to go down a new road, a road that you've never been down, where there's emotional support, there's excitement, there's growth, there's room for expansion. You know, there is. It just looks really, really good. I think, and a lot of passion as well, I think there's a chance for you to go down a new road that is filled with right there on the tip of my tongue that is filled with uh, possibilities okay <laughs> there's that tower tower card I knew that I, I could see it I could see it you guys have been trying to to stop something from happening you've been trying to stop this downfall and you may have you may have, but I, it can only last for so long. This tower card, whether it's upright or reversed, to me means that something needs to fall apart or, or something has fallen apart. Okay, it's reversed. I feel like something has fallen apart and it's going to, br to bring you what you finally deserve. Okay, so whether it's in your hands or somebody else's, I feel like you are going to get what you finally deserve. And I feel like it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. 
Sagittarius. I feel like this is this this script has already been written. I mean, now this is in the middle of the high priestess. That means the script has already been written. This was meant to be. The struggling that you have been through has taught you enough to bring you to this point that you can love with open arms, believe it or not. There was a false there was a false um scenario in your life. Something wasn't true, especially with that devil and that tower card. There was some dishonesty, there was some lies, there was some betrayal, whether it's you that was betraying yourself or somebody that was betraying you, that all that all of that happened for a reason because it you needed to learn something during that time. And this has to do with putting in effort. Okay, putting in effort. So I think one of the lessons that you had to learn was that you have to put in equal amounts of effort into a relationship for it to bloom, for it to blossom, for it to grow. You really have to invest into a relationship. And that's probably some one of the lessons that you needed to learn. You've gained a lot of wisdom over this period, over this time where there's been so much struggle, where there's been chaos, where there's been disorder. You've learned so much. You've gained so much wisdom. And now you've grown into the person that is ready for this full commitment. I feel I feel like things are gonna start to 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 um, become organized again. Things are gonna start to become more stable and secure in your life. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I really feel like it's time for you to stand strong. And remember all the strength that you have gained through this period of struggle. I think you've been through a period of struggle and you're about to get the justice that you deserve. And I think that for some of you, new love is coming into your life. If you're coupled, you know, I think that there could be a uh, renewal of a relationship or something. But I really feel like there's new love and I feel like... I feel like something is crumbling down that needs to crumble down and it may crumble down um, out of the blue and it may be your secret wish for it to crumble down. You know what I mean? You may be secretly wishing for this to fall apart so that you can start your new journey. You know, I don't know who that's for, but it just feels like many of you are ready for this transformation. You're ready for this change. You're ready for this new love. You've been through hell and bring it on. <clears throat> You're gonna have to struggle. <clears throat> You're gonna and you have been struggling. That's the thing. That's that's what this is. You've been through a lot. Remember I was saying earlier that you've struggled. The struggles are real and the struggles have been real and they brought you some kind of lesson that you needed to learn and it has to do with investing your time into a relationship, really, really, really giving to a relationship, not holding grudges, not getting upset and not talking, you know, there's all kinds of things to learn and I feel like um, there's a there's a feeling of... Lack of self-confidence, lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem, okay, here, which has held you back, 
It's held you back. And now it's time for your awakening. It's time for your epiphany. It's time for you to release the past. And that's what it's about. It's time to forgive yourself. It's time to forgive yourself and others. Okay? I also feel like you are about to go through a major awakening that transforms your life. You are. You're going through a transformation right now. And it's a big one. Big, 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 big one. Because of all the struggles that you've been through. It's payoff time. It's payoff time. That's what I see. And I feel like, I feel there's a couple different scenarios here. That you have been dealing with somebody who is going to get caught with their misdealings, their bad dealings, whatever they've been doing. You're dealing with somebody who's doing something perhaps illegally and they're going to get caught and it's going to free you. Okay? Or it's going to free you, free the, the person that's going to come into your life, okay? I don't know what it is. Somebody's going to get caught doing something, and it's going to be to your benefit. Put it that way. That's what I see. But the thing is, is you have to master your emotions, and it feels like that's a big deal here. Upright, this is mastering your emotions. Reversed, it's not. You need to remember that... Um, to keep your emotions in check and you need to remember to remain positive not negative that's an emotion okay remain positive that's one of the lessons you need to learn is negativity will get you nowhere and you got to remember that you you cannot control the situation control may be an issue as well with the with the devil card and the emperor we have some controlling tendencies here you need to let things go. You need to be able to go with the flow and try not to control the situation. Let things happen. I think that you guys are releasing the past and new love is coming in. That's what I think is happening. And I think there's some kind of secret that's going to be revealed that brings you about some kind of freedom that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this freedom, and I think it's coming. Change is on the horizon. <laughs> if you should choose to accept it, okay? It, it's true. I mean, with this Two of Pentacles, it's, it's things are, you need to have trust. Things are a little chaotic because you don't trust. You don't trust. And if you don't trust, then how can a relationship get off, get off the ground? Trust is needed here. You know, with the world card reversed, it means that there's a new beginning waiting for you, waiting for you. It's just right around the corner. It's in sight. Your new beginning is in sight. But you have to step through the doors. And I think in order to step through the doors, you need to release something in your past. Okay? Could just be a thought. Could be negativity. Could be negative thoughts. Could be a person. I see that you've been struggling a lot, but it's been teaching you along the way. It's bringing you to the point where you need to be so that when this new love comes into your life, you accept them with open arms and you're able to let them love you. There you are, Sagittarius. Of course. Of course. It was the last card. The last card I was going to pull. And it happened to be you. It's time for a renewal. It's time to make a compromise. It's time to cooperate. It's time to blend. And you have to remember that everything happens for a reason. This is the card of purpose. There's a purpose for everything. The struggle that you have been through has made you into the person you are today so that you will be ready for this new love that's coming into your life. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of healing. 
and I feel like you guys are finally coming coming out of the dark. You're coming out of the dark side. You know, you've been in a dark area of your life. Some of you, not all of you, have been in a dark area of your light of your life, and I think the light is going to start to shine again. And you are going to be given some gifts. We have the Ace of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. One, 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 three ones. Your thoughts become things. Really be careful of your thoughts at this time. Be very much aware of what is going on in your head. If you think negative, you will attract negative. If you think positive, you will attract positive. One, 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 one. You actually have four ones in this reading. Okay, with the magician is a one as well. Okay, so you, 11, 11, you could say. All right, one, 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 one. Things are going to start happening. They're going to happen fast. Your intuition is a number 10, put it that way. Your intuition is very, very high at this time. Your thoughts are manifesting at a very quick, high rate. Keep that in mind. There's like instant manifestation here. Really, really pay attention to your thoughts. If you are ready for new love to come in, welcome it in via your thoughts. If you don't want new love to come in, keep thinking it's never going to come, and it won't. Okay? So if you're ready for new love to come in, picture it coming in. Envision it coming in, and it's coming. All right, I see a very fast moving energy here, and I feel like the universe is on your side with these three aces. They're offering you these opportunities. One is for love, one is for growth, and one is for manifestation. And every single one of these ones mean a new beginning, which would signify a transformation. But the fact of the matter is, is you have to look outside. You have to look outside of your current vision. You have to really see beyond the gate. You have to see beyond your current view, okay? You really have to be open to looking elsewhere. I see new beginnings here, big time in February, Sagittarius, but I have to remind you, free will and action plays a part. So this reading will not be for you if you think negative and if you don't take action, okay? If you think negative and if you watch this reading, you say, oh no, that's not for me, you're right. You just said it, all right? That's what manifestation is. If you watch this reading and you say, oh yeah, yay, this is for me. I have new love coming in. And each day you remind yourself that new love is coming in and you see it coming in, then that reading's for you. It's all about you. <coughs> Sorry about my cold. I, I have it and it just won't go away. The first card is entrepreneur. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. This card is about you doing what's right for you. If you have a new idea to start your own business, don't discount that idea. Remember, your thoughts become things. If you think you can do it, you can. And that's one of your lessons. Removing and replacing negative with positive. You have the, you have the real, real, real power of manifestation this month. Should you choose to use it to your benefit. Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. 
Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Release and surrender. Release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Release all negative from your life. Release the struggles. Acknowledge them and move on. And a shower of abundance is headed in your direction with these three aces. You are being given or offered some pretty big opportunities that are life changing. I see a major transformation, Sagittarius, should you decide to replace negative with positive. New love could come into your life and be full of passion and gifts. But it's all up to you and your thoughts. Your thoughts become things. <laughs>